Well, welcome to the Blitz Show on covers. I'm Josh Ingalls. He's Derek Cardi, the mind behind the bat, the Blitz projections, which shape and influence the betting market. We will be releasing plays using Derek's projections every primetime game once the season starts. But right now, it's time for futures. And Derek, you're digging into the Pittsburgh Steelers today with first a receiver who books are struggling to price. 365, George Pickens, 1025. And we see FanDuel down there to market low at 925. What's the play here and price on Pickens and his blitz projections? Yeah, I really would take Pickens at any of these numbers. I think my favorite is the 365 number uh, under 1025 and a half, minus 160. It's some pretty heavy juice, but there are a lot of reasons to think Pickens goes under this. One of the, the foremost is that. Arthur Smith is the new offensive coordinator for the Steelers, and Arthur Smith loves to run the ball. There are not going to be a lot of pass attempts. This projects as the most run-heavy team in all of football this year, and they tend to spread the ball around a good amount. We saw last year Drake London and Kyle Pitts weren't getting the ball all the time. Like The assumption that George Pickens is just going to get the ball all the time, I think, is, is kind of a flawed one. Not a single wide receiver in an Arthur Smith offense has ever gone over this line that they have set for Pickens. That includes multiple seasons of A.J. Brown. So let's get to the meat and potatoes. Arthur Smith, strike one. Russell Wilson, minus 400 to be the week one starter. Justin Fields is a backup. How do you quantify the QB play in this situation that is shaping up to be a disaster? And let's be honest, there's a reason why books, not every book, has a passing prop set up for Russell Wilson, who we'll talk about after this. Yeah, I mean, there's some name value on the two new quarterbacks that they brought in this year. But if we're being honest, it's really not much of an upgrade over what Pickens had to deal with last year. And if Justin Fields happens to be a starter for any portion of the year, this is a run-heavy offense where a bunch of the pass attempts are going to turn into scrambles anyway that are, is even more runs and fewer targets for Pickens. So. Uh, it, it doesn't set up well for him regardless. All right. A look at the talent at the wide receiver room is interesting, right? <clears throat> we have George Pickens as number one, which might have been people run out to go get him just because of the lack of talent around him. With Van Jefferson, number two. We got Calvin Austin, uh, Quez Watkins, and rookie Roman Wilson also on that list. But let's be honest. If it's George Pickens as the number one and it's third and long, it's going to be a heavy blanket on George Pickens. Like it's going to be easy to kind of like put one over top of him just to make sure that he's under control. Yeah, exactly. The loss of Deontay Johnson is going to open up targets for him, but it's also going to really hurt his efficiency because defenses are just going to be able to key on this guy. His, his volume is really going to have to spike in order to get over this number, especially in an Arthur Smith offense. He needs a target share close to 30% to beat this line or just hyper efficiency, which seems unlikely given the state of the wide receiver room here. And let's be honest, tough division, tough defenses who know them. Well, Mike Tomlin, I mean, everybody in the division knows what Mike Tomlin is too. Obviously Arthur Smith has a playbook that people are very aware of now uh, with his multiple stops, but add in some probably awful mm -hmm. scheduling down the stretch in poor weather, outdoor games, run first defense. There's a reason. It's time to pay George Pickens at multiple numbers. So, I mean, if you don't like the minus 160, you got some other numbers there at the 925, which is uh, what's the price on the 925 if I take a quick look there? Minus 112. So, I mean, honestly, you can take your pick. Um, they, they both look look really good for value. How would a Brandon Ayuk trade affect this situation? Uh, it would – I mean, we could cash this on on the next day basically. Like – I told you, no Arthur Smith receiver has ever gone over this number. If you think adding Brandon Ayuk to the room is going to help Pickens do that, it's not. There's just not enough pass volume to go around. Ayuk would be the clear number one. Pickens would be number two. And he'd have, as long as Ayuk is healthy, he'd have almost zero chance of doing this. All right, let's move to book-specific stuff, especially with Russell Wilson. Caesars right now. Sometimes the guy at Caesars... He, he sleeps and sometimes you get it. So what we know from Caesars, what I, my experience with Caesars is they're always, not always, let's not use that sense, but oftentimes they're extremely late to move things. 
And then when they do move things, they go like so far ahead of the market when they play catch up with it. So catching them at the at the tail end of this market movement is is pretty impressive if you can get it. Russell Wilson under 25 and 100 passing yards at Caesars. Only book. Don't like giving out book specific stuff, but there's a reason why everybody has it OTB. This is a guy who, like I said in preface, even if he's healthy this year for every game, he might not start. There's there's a big reason why he has basically the same odds to start week one as the situation in Denver. So minus 400 might seem like a big number, but there's a 20% probability that he doesn't start at the beginning of the season. Yeah. I mean, for Russell Wilson to go over this number, he almost has to start almost every single game. Again, this is an offense that is going to be extremely run heavy. He doesn't have a lot of weapons to work with. And, uh, and he's not that good anymore. Let's be honest. Uh, this is a, this is, I'm kind of kind of surprised this number is still hanging out there, especially when you consider there's a chance he's not even the starter week one. Like there is a legitimate chance, not super high, but there is a legitimate chance that Justin Fields is starting from week one, or at the very least, he comes in mid-year and takes over once Pittsburgh's out of it and they want to see what you know what Fields has to do for them. Um, you know, and, and and Wilson maybe has struggled to that point. There are so many ways that Russell Wilson doesn't get here. I think that goes back to our point that we talk about a lot when talking about baseball, talk about everything. There is, there are always more paths to the under than the over. Basically everything has to go right for Russell Wilson to get to this number. Correct. Exactly. I mean, just, just based on the offense alone, he has to play almost every game to get here or be like vintage Russell Wilson somehow, which seems super unlikely in this offense. Uh, indoor game starting off at Atlanta. Sure. But, uh, second game, uh, September thin air in Denver. That's not a great start there. So that's scary. Uh, versus the chargers at Indy indoors, uh, versus Dallas at Vegas. It's not the world's most difficult. Oh, jeepers. Two of 32 on, uh, Clef TA's strength of schedule. So add in a tough strength of schedule and Russell Wilson, a guy who doesn't really fight through adversity, as we know. If you get on that, I'm sure by the time week one rolls around, that number won't be hanging there at Caesars. Yeah. Uh, the blitz, when you account for the chance of fields, the chance of injury, has Russell Wilson projected for, I want to say, around 12 games and uh, under 2,000 yards, you know, just a hair under 2,000 yards. He's got to do a lot to get over this, to get over this number. He's got to stay healthy. He's got to play all year. Um, and there's just so many ways that doesn't happen. All right. A couple of correlated plays here on the blitz show on covers. We're going George Pickens under 1,025 and a half yards. That was at minus 160, correct? Uh, minus 160. Yes. Okay. Minus 160 there, but. If that's not your jam, the 925 is another play there at minus 112-ish at FanDuel. And then uh, kind of picking off the last number here with Russell Wilson, under 2,500 passing yards at Caesars. That is a price that should be gone, or a total that should be gone by the time week one rolls around, especially if there's anything. So right now, we could have changes within that QB situation. We could have changes within the wide receiver situation all of which would favor the under for both of these players. So let's get that on top of our Derek Carr. We'll be back here next Thursday with more futures to drop and get ready for more Blitz coming to you every primetime game during the NFL season. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Carty. This is the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers. We'll see you back here next week.